Hey, hey folks, welcome back. This is Don, your spastic simmer. I've got another walkthrough for you. Last week we did another project. It was called the Contemporary Style House. Now it's kind of a small thing, but it's really a cool little place. If you count the basement, there's three stories. So let's don't waste any more of your time. Let's just get right on with it. I see. Get down here at walk through, and we're going to go ahead and hit play. And what we're going to do is, of course, I am in, I'm doing this walk through in live mode. That way we can kind of see everything moving around. You'll see, um, you'll see the people walking through, the cars going by. They've got cars that go by, but why there's no cars in it uh, that we can use? I don't know. <clears throat> but this was built always as close as I possibly could from the um, from the um, web page and the the floor plans and what have you. Now we all know that there's no way you're going to get sims and square footage and the square sim sizes that come anywhere close. Now, if we could use half squares in sims for walls and building, instead of three foot square, then if we could drop it down where we could use each one of the little four squares inside that three foot square to be able to build, then we'd have it made because if one of the big squares is rough, roughly three foot by three foot, then each one of those little squares would be what? A uh, foot and a half by foot and a half? Yeah. So that would be, I mean, that would be supreme if we had that capability. So, of course, we're, you know, we just did a walk through on the first floor, took a look at, um, you know, took a look at things like the um, washroom, or, yeah, the washroom, hell, I'm losing my mind. And now we're fixing to go down to the second floor, or, no, I'm sorry, down to uh, the basement. And right here, we have a workroom, a little workshop that where we can come in here, we can work on crafts, we can build things. And we're going to scroll around over to the left here where there's linens and a full, fully set up, full set up washroom. And of course, we're going to come out of that. <clears throat> Pardon me. And we're going to go to the left, and you'll notice this is an open door plan. Okay. Um, yes, each of these settings do have doors in them, but they are the door frames. Um, just the door frames. I didn't doors themselves in a build this small generally make it look too small. Now, when you can run an open door, uh, door floor plan like this, then it, it to me, it really does help. Um, got a couple of little guest rooms in here. And, of course, you guys know, I stuck at decoration. So, if anybody, you know, of course, this is a shell challenge. And it is up on my gallery, the Spastic Simmer. Uh, there's an empty shell up there. And, of course, this is going to be up there as well. The speed build to this will be uploaded shortly after, um, shortly after this video. But I want this one to go up first. That way people have an idea of a walkthrough. And, you know, of course, I like to peek into the closets and, and see what's there. <clears throat> so... We're going to go back down to the stairs and 
we're going to go up to the first floor. And yes, I am still learning this free cam, but I absolutely want to thank Twisted Mexi for uh, building free cam, uh, building better build by tool, and all the rest of the stuff that builders like myself use <laughs> use every bill we use on a, a daily basis two or three times a day so of course we're up on the top floor now and our girl is playing some games as you can see there she's got the little remote going to town um i really like these lights they're just cool as hell chuck them into a rock I don't understand why these water fountains aren't working though. These are supposed to be uh, water fountains on the right hand wall. I really thought it would be cool to have a little uh, water in there. And of course this floor as well uses the open door plan floor except for the um, the electric, what some people would call the electrical room. Uh, we grew up calling it the utility room because it's where all of the plumbing comes together, um, all the electrical, you'll generally see breaker boxes and what have you in there. I haven't found any breaker boxes in the game yet, so if there's some out there, let me know. And here's one of the other bedrooms up here where we've got the two beds, the window, of course, and uh, a uh, dresser there. And of course, the Jack and Jill bathroom, the Jack and Jill bathroom actually was in the, uh, actually was in the floor plan. And on the right, where I'm going to show you here, this is a restroom. It's a wraparound, uh, wraparound bathroom that comes off the master bedroom here. And the master bedroom comes through really nice view there. I had to, had to get a, had to get a visual of that view. And then we can go into the bathroom and immediately off to the right behind a little privacy screen, of course, is the toilet. And of course, we gotta have toilet paper. But um, there's a shower and, you know, Sims love to wash their hands, so I just stuck that sink right by that door. And the kitchen on the first floor that you saw when we came through, um, you may see a blip of it here in a minute on the walk through. There you go. It's not a real special kitchen, but I sure did like the way that window came out. You may want to pause or pay very close attention to it on the speed bill, and I think you will. Uh, I think you'll really find it cool. And of course, I'm going to back out here and I'm going to go through the garage because I like the way the garage come out. It's really kind of cool. Um, one of the things that I'm getting into is anytime I do a build like this that has an external garage, I'm putting bicycles in there as a secondary, a secondary choice of motor, uh, motor transportation. So when you go through the garage doors here, you're going to see the car and the truck. And then on the left and on the right, there are bicycles. Now you'll notice the inside of this garage is not finished out. That was done on purpose because here in North Central Texas or Texas period, I've never yet to see the inside of a garage that is finished out. I know some of the garages up north really look nice. They're finished out. Um, some of the garages that I've seen in Scotland while I was up there, uh, they, they, you know, they really look nice, really finished out. Had to have a gazebo. I absolutely love gazebos, kind of plain, nothing real frilly about it. But this was a modern bill. This was supposed to be modern, no frills, no thrills, just an absolute uh, modern house there. And it really come out, I think, 
looking nice. So there you have it. A relatively short walk through, only about nine minutes. Didn't want to keep you long. The upcoming speed bill will probably be yeah, around 20 minutes or so. Uh, once I get it edit edited, once I get it edited and moved up to the uh, moved up to YouTube there. This particular video will probably be uploaded now that I can to Twitch. You know. And once again, last week, we made affiliate. Now, uh, my hat's off. And thank you very much. Well, my little bald head there. That's the reason I wear a hat. Don't want to blind you folks. But I want to give a very special thanks to the people that really put us out there. You know, people like... Uh, Emily Blue Jean, uh, people like um, uh, Jack Preston, Pris, uh, Pr Prissy, Prissy, Pissing, Prissy. Oh, God, I'm horrible with names. She's going to smack me. But I really want to thank those guys that really put us out there, Tonka Man, and all the rest of you. Hell, you know, my memory sucks so bad, I can't remember. But, hey, you guys have a great day, and that's my phone calling. We'll catch you on the flip side.